You have already decided that you want to be a programmer, but where do you start? This question turns out to be very hard to answer because there are so many options to choose from. This leads lots of aspiring programmers to give up before they have even started the journey. But if you follow my advice, I show you the things you need to get started and you will write your first program in less than 10 minutes from now. Starting with something new can be hard. People have written songs and books about it. And starting with programming is really hard. I know because as a teacher I see this every day. One of my students once explained it to me in a single sentence. It's all so abstract. And I guess that this is the best explanation. In the beginning you have nothing to hold on to because everything you need to learn is so remote from the things you know. But the good news is that programming is not magic but a learnable skill. And just like with every other thing you need to learn, you just have to take the first step. And that is to choose one programming language to start with. And why is it so important to make this choice so early on? Well, first of all, there are just way too many programming languages. You cannot test them all. But you have to choose one or you will never start with programming. And second, start with a language so you can stick with it for a while. Even when it gets difficult at times, resist the urge to search for alternatives. And even when you would switch to a different language when things get difficult, I guarantee you will get stuck at the same point. You have to conquer small challenges to grow. So the trick is to pick a language and start programming. But if you need to make a choice without knowing the technical properties of different languages, you need other criteria to decide. And that is why I offer you some help with deciding how to start. Your first programming language should have two properties. One. It should get you started with minimal effort. And two, it should be a major language that is used by many people so you can search for answers to your programming questions online. And if I can recommend one language, I would say choose Python. It is the least cryptic language designed to be written and read by humans. Programs are executed from top to the bottom, making them very comprehensible. Interesting programs can be written in a few lines of code, and things learned in Python can easily be used in other languages in the future. Convinced this is good to start with? Then what do you need to install it? First of all, you do not need the newest computer to run Python. Even older computers will run Python just fine. As long as your computer has Windows, Mac OS or Linux, you will be able to install and use Python on it. Just like most programming languages, Python is free of charge. Let me show you how I install it on my computer. Go to python.org. This is the official website of Python. Click on Downloads and then on this button. Save the file and execute it. I am installing Python on macOS, but the process is pretty much the same on Windows. Leave all the settings as they are and click through the installer. At the end, the installer will tell you that Python is installed on your machine. Your computer can now understand Python, but if you want to write code, you need a code editor. But that's all for this video. Click on the next video and learn how to choose a code editor and write your first program. <music>